history could be made today on the other side of the solar system. This afternoon, a NASA spacecraft will make a daring attempt to collect a sample from an asteroid and then bring it back to Earth. If successful, this would be the space agency's largest return of extraterrestrial material since the Apollo program brought back rocks and dust from the moon. The asteroid named Bennu is about as tall as the Empire State Building. Mark Strassman got an inside look at the mission. From Earth, it's a pinprick of light in a telescope. But 200 million miles away, an asteroid named Bennu could hold clues to the birth of our solar system. The oldest material that you could ever hold in your hand is a chunk of an asteroid from outer space. Dante Loretta is talking about material that's four and a half billion years old. He's leading NASA's first ever mission to retrieve a sample from an asteroid. And liftoff of OSIRIS-REx. The $800 million asteroid hunting robot began chasing Bennu four years ago. We have arrived. <laughs> but right away, the asteroid surprised Loretta's team. We thought the surface was going to be sandy and beach-like. And then I saw those first images coming in, and, and I thought, oh boy, uh, we're in for a real challenge here. Bennu is covered in boulders. To find a safe spot to grab a sample, scientists spent a year mapping every square inch. They settled on this small clearing called Nightingale Crater. And there's a large rock on the eastern rim that I call Mount Doom that's about 10 meters or 30 feet tall. And we definitely don't want to fly into that. The spacecraft is about the size of a large van. It has to maneuver into an area the size of a few parking spaces. Its 11-foot-long arm ends with a sort of space vacuum cleaner designed to collect about two ounces of asteroid gravel. The robot will spend all of 10 seconds on Bennu before backing away. The most intriguing part to me of the mission is the, uh, the excitement of bringing a sample back to Earth. Lori Glaze, NASA's Director of Planetary Science. It's almost like discovering the, the, the DNA of the universe, right? It's exactly like discovering the DNA of the universe by our, at least the DNA of our solar system because this is the material that actually built up who we are here today. Potentially a cosmic jackpot. It would land in Utah in 2023. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Atlanta. Boy, that's fascinating. Right. I was going to say, Mark Strassman had a lot of wowzer moments in that package. A cosmic jackpot. I like Love what that. they said. I like that what they said, Anthony. It took a year to find the right sample. All the work that goes into doing yes. it, and they make it look so easy. And, and that so one brief moment that it's actually yes. on the asteroid, like picking that. up a couple of ounces of material. The DNA of the universe. I think there's somebody out there right now, a little child, looking at that going, I want to do that. Yeah. I want to do that. Yeah. Bravo to NASA. Four and a half billion years old. Bravo, bravo.